My name's Terry Dwyer, and the reason I wanted to get involved with the Be Alarm campaign is because of an experience my mum had with one of her friends. Um, thankfully, everything turned out okay, and, and I was quite young at the time, but I just remember the effect it had on my mum and dad. My um, mum's friend had had a persistent cold. She had dizziness, headaches, and so was been under the weather really for quite some time. She'd made plans to meet my mum. My mum wanted to cheer her up. Um, and my f mum's friend didn't turn up, so she was really concerned. She went round there and everywhere, everywhere was in darkness. And mum said instinctively she, she just knew something was wrong, so she got a key from the neighbour, thank goodness, let herself in and found her friend slumped on the sofa. My mum did have some medical background, so um, her quick thinking, without doubt, saved her friend's life. I think the lack of understanding about carbon monoxide poisoning probably become, um, comes from there's just not enough information out there. I think the media plays a big part, you know, everybody knows about um, the dangers from fires and why it's important. I mean, 91% of people actually have smoke alarms, you, it, it's well documented, but I think the push for smoke alarms has probably been around a lot longer, you know, hopefully in years to come we will kind of reach that same kind of statistic. It, it's a relatively new... I guess, a fear that's been brought into the public domain. Um, I think the more people that talk about it will help, but also with carbon monoxide, some people probably suffer and don't know about it because the symptoms manifest themselves as colds or food poisoning. People might be suffering now that actually don't know the reason they're suffering is because of the poisoning. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning, typically dizziness, headaches, all things that you'd probably associate with uh, a flu, uh, food poisoning type symptoms, stomach cramps. I think the key thing is if you leave home and you start feeling better and then you return home and you start feeling ill again, that's a really good indicator. But of course, when you're ill, you probably not thinking about where and when you are ill. But hopefully if somebody's watching this, they'll be able to put two and two together and uh, come up with the right solution. The Carbon Monoxide Be Alarmed campaign actually aims to, first of all, highlight the dangers, you know, teach people that if it's not just enough to get your appliances checked by registered people, it's not enough to kind of keep your uh, ventilation uh, free from blockages and, and sweep your uh, chimneys, but really you do need to back up everything with one of these alarms. Also to change the legislation, which is what we're trying to do at the moment, it's mandatory for new bills to actually have smoke alarms fitted, but it isn't mandatory mandatory to have a carbon monoxide alarm, which is crazy. I mean, 91% of people in this country have smoke alarms compared to 35% carbon monoxide. So that's something that we're really trying to push. And also for landlords, at the moment, it's enough for them just to get a, a certificate to say the gas appliances are OK. Well, it's not enough. And if you read some of the case studies, it tells you it's not enough. You do need one of these alarms too. So hopefully we can get the law changed. OK, if you want more information on the Be Alarm campaign, anything you've heard or anything that you don't know, then go to the website www.co-bealarm.co.uk.